There are so many things that you can do with Keynote on the iPad and on the Mac for that matter. This is one example of what you can do. What I've done here is something that would probably need something like Final Cut Pro in order to do, um, but I've used Keynote to actually create this effect here, using text and putting video behind that text. So what I'd like to do in this video is show you how I've done that. So let's dive into Keynote. The first thing we're going to do is create a new Keynote presentation. Now, the important thing to remember when you create a new Keynote that you're where you're going to create a video is to ensure that you are set to wide and not standard because the wide is obviously the size of a video screen. OK, so make sure that that's selected. And then we're going to tap on the black option there and create a black background Keynote. Then we can delete by tapping on the text boxes and let's tap those text boxes like so. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is put our letters in. So let's put our text in and we're gonna do that by tapping on the plus and then we're gonna tap on the shapes which is this icon here and then make sure that you're in basic and then click text. And there you can see the text at the bottom. So we double tap in there and we can type our first letter, which is an E. Then make sure you select that so it's completely selected and then go up to the brush again. And then we need to change that size. Now we want to go to about 550. So you can just click on the plus here and then go up to 550. OK, so we're at 550. And now what we can do, we can just move our letter to the edge of the screen. Uh, make sure it's in the middle like so, we get the alignment tool there. And then we're gonna copy this and create our other letters. So let's tap on it, we copy and then paste. There's our second letter. We can change the letter by double tapping and then just type in the L, which is my second letter. And then I'm just going to copy this one again. Tap, paste, and there's my second L. OK, and let's put our next one in by pasting again. We want to change that to an A. OK, so I'm going to move these into the right position now. So A, L, and the alignment tools on Keynote are very good because we can actually line these up correctly. And let's put our final one in, and this needs to be an H. And then let's move that into the correct space as well. OK, so there is my five letters. Now, obviously, depending on the word that you're using, you may need to reduce the size of the font to get this across, but I'm using five letters, so 550 was, was big enough for what I wanted. Now, the next thing we need to do, we need to turn that slide into an image, okay? The easiest way to do that is by tapping on the three dots in the circle in the top right-hand corner, and then going to export, go to images, and then we want to make sure it's the JPEG high quality. You also want to make sure that the slide range is the first slide. Now, because there's only one slide, we can just tap on all. But if there was more than one slide, you would need to specify that here. OK, and then we can say export. So that's going to export and then we can save the image to the camera roll. Now, that's going to be exported and saved to my camera roll. OK. The next thing I want to do is add a new slide. So let's add at the bottom here and then add a blank slide at the bottom. Then we can import our imaging. But before we import the picture, we want to change the background so we can see clearly when the letters have been made transparent. So let's change this background by tapping on the brush and then going to background and let's change it to a color. Let's change it to a blue, but it could be any color and then just tap out and now we can import our picture so let's tap on plus photo or video recents and there's my last picture let's add that in and there we go now as you can see at the moment it's just a an opaque image so we can't see through it at the moment but we want to be able to see through these letters we want the letters to be transparent so the way we can do that keep the image selected Go up to the paintbrush again and then make sure you're in the image section and tap on instant alpha. And then what we can do is just tap inside the letter and just drag. OK, and then do the same for the other letters. Now, you can see the blue coming through here. All right. But when we actually do all four five letters there, we can tap out. And now we've got a transparent 
image. So if I go now and change the color of the background by tapping on the brush, backgrounds, and let's change it to red, you can see now that the background of these letters is changed. So now we've created these transparent letters, we can add things behind it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to duplicate this. So I'm gonna click on this, slide, copy, and then paste. So I've just got a duplicate, so I'm just gonna play with the duplicate rather than the original one. So then I can come back to it if I need to. So now what we're going to do is insert our videos. So let's do that. So first of all, let's click on the plus and we're gonna to go to photo or video and let's go to videos down here. And I'm just gonna add one of these videos. Let's add this one here and then use. That's gonna insert the video straight into my slide. And I'm going to reduce the size of that. And I'm just gonna put it here, maybe just spin that just a little bit like so. Or just incidentally, make sure you haven't selected anything when you're inserting a video. Otherwise it will replace what you've selected. So let's press the plus, photo or video, videos, and I'm going to choose this one here, use. And let's move that and shrink that down and then just put that maybe over here. Just spin that around just a little bit like so. And then let's add our another video, one more, um, and you'll get the idea. So you can add as many as you want, obviously. Um, let's add this one here and then use. Let's shrink that one down and let's just put that in the corner over here. Okay, so there we go. So I'm actually, I'm just gonna make these so they cover the letters up like so. And let's do that one as well. So it just covers up the letters like so, there we go. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to make sure that our videos start all at the same time. So let's tap on the first video, go to animate, start movie. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on to after transition and leave that at that, okay? So that's the first one. The first one, just turn on to after transition. Then let's tap on the second one, start movie. Instead of on tap, because if we do on tap, then each video will play once we tap the screen. We don't want to do that because we're exporting this as a video and we can't tap it during a video. So we want to do this after build one. So the first video is gonna play at the same time as the first video, okay? And then we can tap on the final one and do the same again and do that with build one as well. So depending on how many videos you have in your slide, you want them all to start with the first build. Okay, so we can test that by clicking on the play button and they're all playing, what? fine. So now we can click done, all right? Now, obviously at the moment, our lettering is behind the video, so we just need to bring that forward. So tap on the image, the, the, the image with the letters on, then tap on the format button, and then we go to arrange. So look at arrange there, and we move from back to front, and there we go, and there is our video. And now we can play that, and we have our video playing in the back Why? there. Okay, finally, the last thing that we need to do is export this as a movie. So then we can put this into iMovie for the beginning of a maybe a, an extended video or whatever. Now let's tap on the three dots in the corner, export, and let's export it as a movie. We want to ensure that the resolution is set. I'm gonna keep it at 720, but you may want to go up to 20, uh, 2160, which is 4K. Um, it's up to you, but depending on the resolution that you want, I'm going to now change the slide range. Now, this is important because we've got three slides here. We don't want the first two slides. So let's change that to three. So we only want our third slide to be exported as a movie. And then we can change, go to next slide. Now I'm gonna add one second there. So that gives me a bit of time if I want to edit anything within iMovie. Um, we don't want to go to our next build. We want that to be zero because that what that basically means, between transitions, it will wait. Now that all the transitions are actually happening at the same time, so it shouldn't make too much difference, but I've just changed that to zero just to be sure. So now I'm going to click export. That's gonna export the movie and create it. Make sure it's on share and ensure that you save the video and that will save onto the camera roll. So now when we go to our camera roll, we have our finished movie here and there it is playing away. 
okay? Now, bearing in mind, when you are exporting it, it will save the movie to the longest video that you have here. So you can see my two, the, the, the video on the left here has actually finished, so that was only a few seconds long. The two videos in the middle here are slightly longer. So it will save your movie to the length of the longest movie in your keynote presentation. So using Keynote, you can create these wonderful title effects without having to use Final Cut Pro or any sophisticated editing software. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.